Drawn Together by Min Lei, illustrated by Dan Santat. Sometimes you don't need words to find common ground. For my grandparents and everything we left unsaid, and for my editor, Rotem, who helped me find the right words, ML. For my grandmother, D.S. We notice on the title page, our boy main character is being dropped off by his mom. He rings the doorbell. Grandpa answers. They bow to one another, wave goodbye to mom, and in he goes. They share a meal together. Notice how different their meals are. Grandpa has ramen that he's eating with chopsticks and pho, a broth, and our boy has a hot dog, salad, french fries, and a mug of juice. They both sit and eat together. So what's new, Grandpa? says the boy. Grandpa says in Thai, how are you doing? Of course, they don't know what one another is saying, which is why we're seeing the dot, dot, dot in the next box. They sit together to watch TV. The character on TV says, dragon. Grandpa says, would you like to watch something else? In Thai. The boy says, can we watch something else? Again, thinking the same things, but not knowing what one another is saying. So they continue to sit and watch rather unhappily. Boy gets up, gets his backpack, takes out a piece of white paper and markers, and begins to draw. Grandpa lights up when he sees the boy's work. He goes to get his sketchbook and his ink. We see both of the sketchbooks next to each other. Right when I gave up on talking, my grandfather surprised me by revealing a world beyond words. And in a flash, we see each other for the first time. The warrior drawn by the boy is colorful, cartoon-like, and very modern, equipped with a magic wand. The grandfather's warrior is traditional, older, black and white drawn with an ink pen for a tool or sword. But both of them have extremely similar facial expressions, like they're ready for battle where they meet in the middle. Will they battle one another or against something else? All the things we could never say come pouring out. This page shows the warriors combining their efforts to create creatures in a world that they could only do together. The fish in Thai culture represents luck. The monkey in Thai culture likely represents cleverness here. We see the two art styles are starting to blend together. And we build a new world that even words can't describe. Grandfather and grandson's art styles have now combined and are whirling, swirling around them as the creators stand in the middle to watch what they have created together. But just when we're closer than ever, both characters seem to be in alarm on this page as they lose the magic wand and ink pen and bits and pieces of their world seem to be flying up at them, knocking them off their feet. That old distance. The distance here could be their language barrier, their age, their culture, their art. At their separate sides, we notice the boy now has the ink pen and the grandfather has the magic wand. Will they be able to use each other's tools? And what could that creature be in the water? That old distance comes roaring back. And we see a large dragon, much like a dragon was just in the show they were watching. 
A dragon had appeared in the TV show that they couldn't turn off because they couldn't communicate. It's almost like this dragon is a monster reminding them how different they are from each other, trying to keep them apart. But Grandpa looks, sees the wand, uses the wand. The boy sees the ink pen, uses the ink pen. This time, I'm not afraid. They're up for the challenge. They're not going to give up. Because I know that together... And as they challenge the dragon here, we notice that grandfather with the magic wand is colorful and grandson with the ink pen is black and white, kind of like their powers are morphing and becoming even more powerful as they combine forces towards a shared goal of defeating evil. Because I know that together, we can make our way across. We now see that there's a bridge joining both sides as the grandson and grandfather run towards each other over the bridge that shows hints of that dragon they just defeated together. Now, after years of searching for the right words, we find ourselves happily speechless. Their artwork behind them shows what a unique world they were able to create as they were able to combine their art forms and create something brand new and collaborative that they only could have done together. The grandfather holds the marker and the grandson holds the ink pen as they hug one another. Grandpa holds up the marker as grandson holds the ink pen. The tools that seem to separate them at the beginning will help them think of each other as they say farewell and go their separate ways.